Welcome to DVCom Technology. In this lab, I am going to show it to you how to configure site-to-site -site VPN between FortiGate and Dretech. And if you see here, this VPN I am going to establish through Dynamic. So the Dynamic is nothing but most of the remote locations you can find it, there is a Dynamic public IP. And in the head office, let's say the customer is planning to use FortiGate. So let's say in head office they have a static public IP or Dyn DNS. In that scenario, how you are going to establish the VPN? This is very, very important that in the remote locations you can able to use any other firewall, but in the head office you are going to use the FortiGate. So let's go and see how I'm going to configure this. So if you see here, in the head office I'm going to use 192.168.200.1 network as my internal network. And I'm going to have a public IP, which is 195.229.219.7 slash 27. And in the remote location, I have a Dretech router. And in my internal network is 192.168.100.1. And let's go and check it, how I'm going to configure in the 40 gate after the Dretech. Let's go and see it. So first of all, let me check. I got the IP address from my internal network, which I connected in head office 40 gate firewall. And I have the IP address is 192.168.200.11. So let's go and ping to my 40 gate 192.168.200.1. I have a successful reachability. Now open the browser and type 192.168.200.1 and click login. So as I explained to you, just go to the interface network and interfaces. Then you can able to see here, this is my LAN interface and it's my WAN interface. So my LAN interface, I'm going to use 192.168.200.1. And in my WAN interface, I'm using the public IP. So if you see my static routes, there is one static default route, which is pointing to my ISP. Now I'm going to show it to you how to configure the VPN. And before that, I just want to show you there is a policy over there. This policy which is going to allow me to access the internet. That's why from here I can able to access the internet. And I want to access any website. There you go. So now by using this policy, I can able to send my traffic to the internet. Now I'm going to configure the VPN. So let's go to the VPN and click on IPsec tunnel. Then after that, create new. Then click on IPsec tunnel. Then I'm going to create the custom tunnel to Dretech. Or you can say any remote location. Then after that, click Next. Then after that, I'm going to establish the remote gateway is dial-up user. So that the remote locations, whatever firewall, whatever routers are there, it doesn't matter. They are trying to establish a communication with the head office router, head office firewall. So this is what we are going to do now. That's why the head office firewall is going to act as a dial-up user and the remote locations, they are going to act as a dial-up clients. So you no need to go as a 40 gate in other side, in the remote locations as a dial-up client, you can use any other firewall or any other routers. It doesn't matter. That's what I'm going to show it to you. Now in the interface, you can call it as a WAN interface. Then the local gateway, I'm going to use the primary IP, which is my public IP. Then NAT traversals, I'm going to disable it. Then advanced, I'm going to device creation, I'm going to enable it. Then after that, I'm going to select the pre shared key as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Then I'm going to use advanced, IKE version 2. Then after that, I'm going to use any specific peer ID, there is no problem. Then I'm going to use AES-256 and MD5. Then I'm going to use group two. Then make sure that this is the phase one, the lifetime you need to remember this. So let's go and copy it in the notepad. This is the phase one. And phase one encryption and authentication. can say encryption is AES-256 and authentication is MD5. 
because whenever you are going to configure it in the remote side, you need to give this information to the engineer. Then local ID, I am going to say 40 net. You can give any name. Now the phase two parameters, so the interesting traffic. So my local subnet is 192.168.200.0 slash 24. And remote is nothing but here the remote locations, they are able to come from different, different networks. Let's say I have three, four branches. So I cannot define what is exactly the remote location. So I'm going to give here 0.0.0, .0 then 0.0.0. .0. So any network from the remote side. Then after that, click on advanced. Then after that, remove all these proposals. So I'm going to use the advanced proposals, which is AES-256 and MD5. Then after that, I don't want this enable perfect forward secrecy. Then I'm going to keep alive. And in the phase two parameters, I need to mention that phase two is my lifetime is 43,200. Let it write properly. So this is my phase one and this is my lifetime. Yeah. So these are the parameters I need to give it to the remote guy so that he can able to configure it in either side. Phase one. Yeah. And this is my phase two. And again here I'm going to use this same. That's it, because these parameters has to be matched before you are going to establish the VPN. Then after that, click, okay. Now after this, I'm going to configure the policies. Let's go to the policy and object and click on IPv4 policy, then create new. There I'm going to specify the policy. So the policy is remote to LAN. So I'm going to select to DRATEC. This is my tunnel name, which I am specified there. In case if you want to specific, just specify there because in the remote locations, maybe the customer is planning to go all the DRATEC routers. So better I'm going to give DRATEC to LAN. Then after that outgoing interface is my LAN interface. And the source network, I can say all. And the destination networks, I can say all. And service, I can say all. And the NAT, I'm going to disable it. Say okay so this is the traffic which is coming from from my remote to my lan so now what i'm going to do i'm going to make a reverse policy because inside my lan if they want to talk to the remote sites then we need to make a reverse policy so you can say the clone reverse then after that double click on this now you can specify the name lan to dretech then after that just remove the comments and enable this policy then click OK. Now you can able to see here there is two policies one policy which is from LAN to the DRATEC which is the remote site and DRATEC to the LAN which means the remote site to the LAN. So now I have configured now I need to configure it in for DRATEC side in 40 gate side we configured everything so there is nothing to do it here so let's go to the remote client. So in the remote client, let's say the public IP is 195.229.219.9, which is a dynamic IP. And this public IP, what I have done in the DRATEC, I already enable the remote access so that I can able to do this. So now let's go and log in this. There you go. Now if you see here, it's a DHCP IP, which is got from the service provider. It's a dynamic IP you can consider as. And my internal IP is 192.168.100.1. Then after that, I just go to the VPN and remote access. Then click on LAN to LAN. Then click on 1. Then after that, enable this profile. And I'm going to say to, let's give like HQ. Then after that, I'm going to select as a dial out. Then after that, always on. Then here I have connected through WAN 2. Then now if you go here, the dialout settings, then IPsec tunnel, and I'm going to use here IKE version two. So we need to give this information as well. Yeah, so I'm going to use IKE version two, IPsec IKE version two, which is the latest guys. And now what I'm going to do now, the server IP, which is my public IP, 195.229.219.7. This is the public IP at the 40 gate side. 
so we need to specify this IP address as well yeah public IP at HQ which is 195.229.219.7 then after that let's go and specify the pre-shared key we need to give this pre-shared key as well yeah this is very important guys pre-shared key so which is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 then specify here copy this one paste it there paste it there then click OK then after that go to the advanced then here if you see here once you selected IKE version 2 go to the advanced then here you need to give AES 256 as a phase 1 let's go and check it now that's correct and MD5 and I'm going to select DeFi Alpha is group 2 that's what we need to give it to them group 2 DH group 2 yeah and after that authentication is MD5 then here IKE proposal 2 we need to specify AES 256 is the encryption is the encryption and authentication is MD5 let's go and do that which is here then phase 1 lifetime which is 86,400 and phase 2 lifetime which is 43,200 then after that the local ID I specified as Fortinet so give you as Fortinet so then after that you can just click OK there you go then after that go down then specify the remote network IP is which is anyone you can uh, so the remote network is it's my head office right 200.1 then after that say ok say ok now the tunnel is up now if you see here the tunnel is up this is very important feature especially and I can able to see whether the traffic is going or not ping iphone t 192.168.100.11 in other side 100.1 is the gateway so this is what how we are going to configure this dynamic vpn guys it's very very important especially if some customers if they are planning to go with uh, oh, 40 gate or sonic wall or some other firewalls at the head office in the branches you can give as the dry tech is the option so this is the best solution for especially whenever the people medium sized business if they want to go with small and medium business people if they want to establish the VPN from head office to branch offices this is the best solution. Thank you for watching this video. For sales please send us an email sales at datawise.com. Thank you.